All right, let's stay with the EFF. Media briefing by the party was held uh, today, uh, which was supposed to mark uh, the end of the party's 10th birthday anniversary celebrations. Uh, this was marred by scuffles that broke out outside the party's headquarters. The group of, uh, or a group, shall I say, of white men uh, were there demanding to attend the media briefing in Johannesburg by the party's leader, Julius Malema. Tensions then escalated, leading to fisticuffs. News of Africa's Junior Kumalo filed this report. Tensions reached fever pitch outside the EFF headquarters in Gandhi Square, Johannesburg, as EFF leaders and about 15 white men exchanged blows. The altercation came about when a group of white men descended on the EFF's doorstep and demanded to be allowed to attend the EFF press briefing by party leader Julius Malema. They said they intended to engage Malema after he again sang the song, Kill the Boer. This did not sit well with some of the EFF leaders and was met by violence as the men were forced away from the EFF building. Racist want to march into our offices. Ne? This is a, it's not a playground here. It's a revolutionary house. That's why I told uh, John Stainers and that you are a small boy. The EFF is not ANC. Let John try those things he has been doing of marching to ANC offices. He must try, come and try it here. When the dust eventually settled, Malema finally had the opportunity to evaluate the party's 10th anniversary celebrations. He acknowledged the passing of two supporters during the festivities. We mourn the passing of Mapaseka Sobulawa from Clydesdale in the northwest who passed away in a car accident while crossing the road at a refreshment stop on her way, on her way home. We further mourn the passing of Mavutani Moses Mazamulela from Sebukeng in Gauteng who passed away after an unfortunate fall from one of the stands at the FNB stadium. Malema also claimed that the ANC leaders had resorted to harassing service providers and business people who supported the EFF during their birthday celebrations. The state is going to punish people for having taken a political choice, for having made a political choice. And Panyaza is part of the people who are saying everybody who attended the EFF gala dinner who gets a tender from our state must no longer get a tender. ANC national spokesperson Mahlengi Bengo Motiri denied such allegations saying the onus was on the EFF to prove these claims. I can't sit here on behalf of the African National Congress and corroborate something that we don't know about. Malema urged EFF supporters to build on the success of the party's birthday celebrations as the party heads towards next year's national elections. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Junior Kumalo in Gandhi Square, Johannesburg.